Welcome to my Grey Hack Guide. In this video, we're going to do some missions in the hack shop. We're going to be using the script that we made in the previous episodes. Episode 15, we made a decipher script, and episode 16, we made a, a universal hacking tool. Uh, so we're going to be using those two tools to hack into uh, or complete some missions, or maybe just one mission. Uh, I think we're going to try out a academic changes mission. So we'll just start the browser and go to the hack shop. You can uh, watch some of my previous videos uh, on how to get a hack shop IP. And uh, here we're going into the jobs tab and we're going to select a academic changes mission. We'll accept that. We'll open the mail. You can see up here that we received the mail. And uh, this is the IP. This is the LAN IP, and this is the person whose record we need to change, and the subject. We'll start off by grabbing the IP. Uh, actually, what we'll do is start a admin monitor. That's uh, usually good to start to be safe. And then what we're going to do is run nmap. And the computer uh, with the database is 1.2, so it has HTTP and SQL uh, So that could be interesting um, I think we're just going to jump straight in and try to use the script that we made in the previous video So that script is called shell web uh, It's not the old shell web. It's just uh, a funny name that we gave it so we'll use shell web and the IP and um, port 80, we could try that. This is a universal tool, so it can be used on all kind of ports. Um, so a lot of them seem to be requiring uh, active root user, and since there are no active root users on the computer, um, that's not going to work. We can also try the SQL port which is the 3306 and 3307 so uh, these two are SQL and this is HTTP and this is FTP but that's a different computer uh, 1.3 okay so we'll try the SQL port and we found a guest uh, access shell and it also found the root password so we can do sudo and then the root password and now we have access there are no admins online which is good first off we'll just clean our logs so and don't remove the connection established because then you will get caught and now that we have full access to this system we can go into well it actually depends, let's open this again. So there's a student viewer in root. There's usually also one in the bin folder. Student viewer right here. And sometimes also in some of the user folders. Student viewer right here. So those are the common places where you can find it. If you can't find it on uh, the server, uh, you might be able to find it or on one of the other computers on the network. So perhaps this computer right here has one. And if you can't find that either, you could start another academic changes mission and find a student viewer on there and then upload it onto this computer. Since we already have it, we don't need to do that. So we'll just go into the bin folder and start the student viewer. Now we're looking for this person right here. So let's see if we can there are only three people in here. That's really low. Whatever. So this is the person, and the physics grade needs to be changed to. This is strange. Physics to change the note to approved at least. Oh wait, zero point six. My bad. I thought it said six. Okay, so uh, approved is 5, so it needs to be at least 5, 
Let's give her 6.6 and save. As you can see up here, uh, it's been saved. You need to make sure it's saved, otherwise it won't work. And perhaps if you don't have uh, permissions, it will not get saved. Since we already have root permission, that's not an issue. Let's check if there is anyone online. Nope. So we've ch uh, changed the, uh, the uh, record and uh, we uh, also cleaned our logs. So now what we can do is just leave, exit, and that's as simple as it is. It's really simple with this tool. So what we'll do is just reply with, you can type whatever you want here, so done, done. The customer is satisfied with the job and we got paid. Uh, so that's how you complete the academic changes mission. I'm going to probably make some new videos for the other missions using this uh, tool uh, that we now have to our disposal. Uh, if it doesn't work, you will need to use other techniques. Uh, and I've already showed many of those techniques in my previous videos. But this is a fast and quick way uh, if this tool actually does work. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.